Detective Ken Todd Deli. Police budget cuts mean I have to take the bus to the crime scene of a murder. All in a day's work in Crooked Valley. A town so vile there's a dead puppy on the state flag. I arrive to examine the scene. I bide my time before saying hi to the forensics guy so my narration can finish. Hi, Detective Todd Deli. What do we got here? Male in his 30s gunned down by his car. All the rest of the bodies have been moved to the morgue. Same fatalities as him. Already the morgue? Seems strange. Shot 50 times. Not pretty. Bag on his head. Shot in the face? No, he's just really ugly. Shot 50 times and tracks of getaway cars everywhere. Only can be one conclusion. Suicide! What? Yeah, it's definitely suicide. Let's not waste any more time on this. Dispatch says there's a stabbing at the old nunnery. Let's go check it out. Dragovich, you can't really believe that, can you? I don't know. After a bit of communion wine, those nuns can get pretty stabby. No, about dismissing this as a suicide. It's clearly murder. It's clearly suicide. So the victims shot themselves 50 times in the chest of the machine guns? Look, we all try to kill ourselves every now and again. Sometimes it takes quite a while. Do you know how hard that is? And besides, even if they did, where are the guns? The wind must have blown them away. Those nuclear tests around here, they really messed up the weather. Do your job properly, Dragovich! Stay out of this, you small-time cop. Ain't you got a kitten up a tree to save? I wanted to come back with a really profound insult to top his. Perhaps I could have brought up those rumors flying around that he was a product of incest. But instead, I settled for... Oh, fuck you! If you excuse me, Ken, I've got some nuns to search. I made my way to the Lucky Miners bar. A sleazy hole full of low lifes. Is it low lifes or low lives? I never know the correct way to say it. I entered the bar, the place that had scum hiding away in the corner like antisocial cockroaches, and the jukebox was broken, which meant it played the same terrible Keen song over and over again. It made for a volatile atmosphere in which anyone was willing to kill each other with the drop of a hat. Quit fighting, or I'll call in your tabs. Hi, Bobby. How are the kids? Bobby? Who's Bobby? I ain't never seen you before in my life. <laughs> yeah, they'll do that. The usual, please. Usual? I ain't never spoken to you before. Never mind. I'm looking for Mr. Wachowski. No smoking in here. And you just presume because I work in a bar, I know every single owner in town. Well, let me tell you. I got a family life outside of here, you know. I ignored Larry to look for Wachowski myself. Mr. Wachowski? What? Who are you? Stay away. Relax, it's me, Tardelli. Your friend? I need some information. See anything interesting in the Wastelands last night? I don't go to the Wastelands. I butter him up for information. Literally, as butter had become a valuable black market item in Crooked Valley. Okay, I saw something. That biker gang that lives out there. Some black cars drove over to their campsite and then... I had him singing like a singer who sings a lot. However, just when things were getting interesting, something changed about him. He became quiet all of a sudden and his posture became too relaxed. What was wrong with him? Eventually, I had had enough and realized he was dead. Robbie, come quickly, he's dead! My name ain't Robbie, you idiot! <laughs> oh my god, he's dead! Ironically, for a jaded cop, I'd never been comfortable with the concept of death. <laughs> he must have been poisoned. Someone doesn't want me to know the truth. Or... Or what? Or he's been drinking beer that's passed his cell by date by years. And that killed him. He was killed by stale beer? Crooked Valley ain't had a shipment of alcohol for years. And I've been using piss as tequila for six months now. Luckily, nobody knows the difference. Because tequila tastes just like piss anyhow. I wanted to arrest him. But in the end, Frankie was too dear a friend of mine. So I let him off with a warning. <laughs> I took the bus back to Cullatown, where I lived to get some sleep, and work my other job as a geography teacher. Timmy's behavior really needs to improve this year. Then back to Crooked Valley to think about the case wandering the streets. 
Why was Dragovich so keen to say the murder was a suicide? Why would the bodies move so quickly? I walked down an indecisive road that night and took a right into Confusion Drive and wondered. God, I wish they hadn't named all of our town streets after emotions. The next day, Chief of Police called me in for a talk. Ken, my boy, you've always had a vivid imagination. I'd rather you didn't go any further into the biker gang murder. It was an obvious mass suicide. I knew something was up, as the soundtrack had become more tense. What's going on, Chief? Have they gone to you as well? What are you talking about, Tyler? Eh? Corruption stains Crooked Valley like an evil skid mark. Well, you're looking at a detergent strong enough to clean that mark. A detergent named Justice. You're not to investigate this crime any further. Is that clear? Yes, sir. On a completely different note, I was uh, wondering if you're free for dinner tonight. Really? <laughs> I need somebody to show up my cookery classes to. Sounds great! I cooked lobster linguine with cream spinach and pumped him full of wine. Eventually I had a meeting out of the palm of my hand. He then had drunk enough that he told me everything about him. His neglected childhood and adolescence. But then he told me about Crooked Valley. Apparently, the police had killed the biker gang as a favor for the local gangster Franco Bourbon, who was fed up that the bikers were robbing his casino and scaring away customers. The police were behind it the whole time! I even found out other things, like did you know that Crooked Valley is neither crooked nor in a valley? It's actually on a coastline. I shoved the drunken chief into a taxi. The only problem was what to do now. There was no one to rat to, as the rat owners were... Rats themselves? Or the enemies of the rats? The rats fleas? Information like this doesn't stay out in the open very long though. I was going to have to stay on guard and not trust anyone. Oh, what's this little girl want? 